Yeah, so back home I was asked once, what's the national anthem mean to you? And uh, I gave it to a group of folks at the football game, and I just said, just went by the uh, by the words. I was saying, can you see by the dawn's early light? So I think uh, the first morning I woke up, well, I didn't wake up. First morning I stood up on a rooftop, Baghdad, uh, after rolling in from uh, Kuwait on a 50 cal open Humvee, no, no armor on the Humvee, you know, moved a lot faster. And I thought about Jeff Shaver, Sergeant Jeff Shaver that I was standing next to. We got through the night and uh, during that first phase of the song, I'll say, can you see by the dawn's early light? The most meaningful to me because Jeff and I got to be pretty close that night and uh, lost him in an attack about three months later in a complex attack just south of that location. What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming. I think of uh, way back when I was an enlisted kid, back in 1985, uh, I was a young infantryman and I'd stand and watch the uh, uh, DMZ north, between North and South Korea. And uh, you hear the colors and this reminded me of that. His broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. I think of the 12th of May, 2004. I had a flag of my antenna on my truck on my Humvee that uh, when we were hit by an IED was torn to shreds. The antennas were torn off, still hanging, but uh, tires were on fire. Actually at the grid coordinate, Mike Bravo 456789 of all things. Uh, I think that flag or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. I think of soldiers before me looking over the bow at a Normandy beaches. I wonder what they were thinking looking over those ramparts. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air. I think of rocket attacks overhead, multiple rocket attacks in the Afghanistan at the time. It was the big thing. Kind of like through 2008 on, they'd set them in these little makeshift launching devices and just haphazardly shoot them into bases. And I think of our base defense systems this one particular time where they would light them back up and it looked almost like a real dangerous uh, display of uh, fireworks on the 4th of July. Uh, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. I think numerous times of standing shoulder to shoulder, even on this deployment, uh, next to people from various branches of the military, fellow operators, Army, regular Army, military police, Marines, sailors, saluting our symbol of freedom. Now, regardless of rank or age, especially in my case nowadays, uh, color, sexual orientation, whatever, all that stuff, uh, doesn't matter. We, we all, we're all one. There's a spear and we all support it or we're at the tip of it. Uh, oh, say to that star-spangled banner yet wave, or the land of the free, and the home of the brave. And yeah, the best is for last, because I do think of the 17 brave Americans I've personally closed the body bag on over their faces, some of which I can say their names, some of which I don't remember the particulars. Uh, they weren't from my unit, but uh, particularly Tico and Jeff Shaver and Danny Tyler. And uh, others I didn't know, like I said. But I don't mourn them. I just thank God that such men existed. Heard that saying once. I believe it was Patton. Um, and I take any one of their places so they could en enjoy this freedom I'm feeling right now. Just for one minute. They could feel it and hold their loved ones again. Anyway, I uh, just thought I'd explain what the national anthem means to me. The oppressor Lieber.